Hi friends, this is part two of my analysis on Illumina. So for part one, it can be found up here and I'll link it down below. In this video, I'm going to cover in detail why am I still holding the stock and how far this stock will go and make my analysis digestible. I forgot how much hours I spent on this, watching every single CEO uh, interview, diving into hours of talks, conferences about gene editing. It is why it really got me so much white hair considering the amount of time I spent. Anyway, to keep you up to date, gene editing, what it can do for you, it will edit away genes that causes like diseases, cancer, birth defects. It also can create immunity against flu viruses. All this gone. So in advanced stages of gene editing, you can actually create superhumans giving them like better brain power or better strength, etc. This market is going to be so huge, it's going to be the biggest sector money can rotate to. Also, before I move on, I want to keep those that didn't watch part one up to speed in just a few seconds. So number one, I sold Tesla stock to buy Illumina. It's not my entire Tesla portion. I am still really bullish. I sold a little bit purely because I wanted a stake in this amazing company. So check out my portfolio video for more allocation. I will just link it up here. So second part is gene editing. There are like different segments in like in all industries. So for Illumina, they cover the read segment. Illumina has 70% market share of the machines and it's got 90% share of the data. Okay, so now you're up to speed, let's continue. Lots of you also ask, how did I come across such a company? You see, everything in life, I chance upon it. Think about like how you met your closest friend or how do you discover my channel in the first place? Almost everything in life is by chance. So the thing is, chances and opportunities always appear all the time. It is up to us if we want to make the decision to grab it. Most often, people are so risk adverse or lazy these chances just fly by. So I was watching one of Elon Musk's interview. It was quite a while ago. I can't remember which interview, but he mentioned gene editing to cure all diseases instead of treating it. I was like, what? I mean, wouldn't that like change the world? So most people will let this by, but to me, it was an opportunity that appeared in my life. And as usual, I grabbed it. I went down this rabbit hole, this really, really deep, endless hole. It was like months and months of research watching super boring talks on gene editing, like reading up of, on the crap I didn't understand, like Google things to help just bring my understanding just to another level. I had something a bit of an unfair advantage. I also knew a really good friend in the medical field as a researcher, uh, specifically in the flu virus field, who also worked at the WHO. I can't review who she is, but uh, if you, you know who you are and thank you. So seldom I will trigger the buy button. As you know, I own very, very few stocks. I'm very picky. So why do I think this will work? Because this stock has fulfilled my two criteria, which I mentioned in this video, link up here and down below. So these criteria are number one, as a proof of concept that work, gene editing has worked and it has FDA approval. It is implemented already. So number two, Illumina has proven that they can scale their business. So among all the companies involved in gene editing, so why did I choose Illumina? You see, I know what I know and I admit what I do not know. I don't try to act smart about it. In fact, if you know me in person, I'm pretty much of a big blur cop. Anyway, I know there is no way I can understand the super technical part of gene editing and I'm not a scientist. Yet, I'm super bullish on this segment. So what I did is what logically a person can do is I buy into the company with the biggest market share. I mean, it's pretty brainless. 70% market share of the machines sold and 90% market share of the data. We all know data is king. You look at like Google and Tesla. Anyways, Illumina makes the machine that reads the human genome. So how do they generate profits? They sell machines and they sell the consumables to work with the machine. Think of it like a printer company. A printing company sells you the machine but most of the profits come from selling you the ink because you need to keep buying the ink. It is constant revenue generated. So imagine a customer that keeps reordering for the life of the machine. Illumina projects a 17% growth in consumables this year. However, because of flu 19, I believe this number will jump drastically. Last year, the consumables almost double in 2019. So 2020 is going to be a crazy year. 
when they update the numbers, I foresee the stock price jumping like mad. However, having said that, you shouldn't like listen blindly to some crazy Asian YouTuber speaking. Though I have been right until now, there is no way I'm going to get it 100% right in the future. I want to point out something. Illumina owns 20% of this company, Grail. Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos both are also invested in this company, Grail, which Illumina owns about 20% of Grail. So Grail announced validation to detect more than 50 different cancers of all stages from a single blood draw. It has an accuracy of above 99% with a single blood draw. Game changing. Detecting cancer previously didn't come close to such stats. And this is again done by using Illumina's uh, sequences. That is game changer. One in three person die of cancer mostly due to late detection or false positive. So by introducing this technology, the amount of life saved is going to be crazy. And I won't be surprised if all the governments of the world will implement this to make it compulsory as a yearly health check. Because you see, as the cost drops, it makes a lot of money sense. Treating patients early can save government billions of dollars in healthcare. The current adoption rate is only 1%. And I foresee like 80% adoption rate in the next 10 years. Financially, it makes so much sense. You see, early screening is just a small portion of the market share. There is also other stuff like therapy and monitoring. There is also a whole lot more research segments Illumina's technology can apply to. Illumina's machine has a wide range of application and supporting many industries. The industries I'm really excited about is the one that Elon mentioned, has to something to do with CRISPR. Okay, Christmas Cas9 specifically. So imagine you have a flawed gene from a lost eyesight to genes that will cause cancer. Famously, Angelina Jolie removes her breast to prevent cancer. So this was one of the more famous cases. So instead of doing such drastic measures, what you can do is you just edit away the cancer causing gene. That is simply like so mind blowing. So there are three companies in this field, mainly the top three that owns most of the patents in co to, for CRISPR-Cas9. So mainly CRISPR Therapeutics, uh, Italia Therapeutics and Adidas Medicine. So all of which I do not know who will succeed. So I just avoided the people who does this CRISPR-Cas9. Instead, I bought into the company that supplies them the machine. Quite simple thinking, but I, I think it works. Some may be also asking, why wasn't this possible last time? You see, to put it very simply for everybody to understand, gene editing is now made hell a lot simpler with the introduction of CRISPR-Cas9. So imagine this. Previously, gene editing was like trying to assemble a computer from scratch. You need to join every single wire and it will take roughly a month to build it up and test. If it doesn't work, you restart building the computer. So now with CRISPR-Cas9, it's as simple as writing software. And this is a massive game changer. I really hope you are getting plenty of value from this. Videos like this are boring and probably will not get a lot of views unless it's being shared. But uh, it's also a heavy topic. I just really want you guys to benefit and I hope you really like what I do. Continuing on, let's talk about competition. Uh, BGI Genomics, uh, a subsidiary of China, Beijing Genomics Institute, unveiled a sequencer that can do this much cheaper. I think at about $100. I believe it's all fluff. You know, right now, Illumina cost to sequence is about six to $800. The cost has been going down over the years. Back in 2001, it cost like 100 million to sequence. I think Steve Jobs paid about a few hundred thousand to sequence his, his genome. So now BGI says he could do it at $100. So while the facts do point that it is possible, as mentioned, to scale is extremely difficult, which is one of my two criteria. So for BGI genomics to match Illumina's cost, BGI will need to do mass sequencing. That means to say you need to feed the machine like 700 samples at a time to achieve that kind of cost. Very few labs are able to do this in the world. And for those that could, they are already using Illumina. So the switching cost is pretty high. On top of that, I believe Illumina has lots of room to lower their cost, making catch up really hard. I believe they have already reached the cost of $100 to sequence. However, Illumina is just delaying the drop of the price. Why wouldn't they? They own the entire market share. So this is what I really love about Illumina is the rate of innovation. I mentioned this several times. No amount of copyrights and patents will protect the business over the long term. 
The key is always constant innovation and Illumina has done precisely that. Okay, for the sake of it, let's look at their financials. Just a little note on Illumina's financial. I just want to say they passed every single matrix and I see zero care on taking care of the shareholders. Instead, lots of money is being placed into R&D innovation and growth. Really healthy cash flows. The kind of numbers I like to see. I can go in depth, but I do not see the point. I've seen companies with the perfect balance sheet and go bankrupt. See, very investing is dead. Next, I'll go into technical charts because you guys like me to go into technical chart. So this is Illumina's chart. And ever since like the whole market came coming down, it has literally flown up so much. So my average buying price was around like about 250. Okay, I, I actually I bought in around here. I, my timing was really bad. So when the stock price keeps falling down, I managed to average my stock price to about 250. So where do I see the stock going? I will draw a few patterns for you to understand like how, where I see a stock price going. So this is how I read Illumina's chart. So as since the bottom is going up, it consolidated for a little bit and it has its next push upwards. So on this push up, I noticed this thing called a flag pattern again. If you've seen me do draw this on my um, Tesla's uh, chart, you understand this flag pattern where I see the price squeezing in and consolidating before it bursts up. So anyway, where do I see the stop topping out at? I'm just going to draw this straight line across. And as you can see, previously, the stock top up at about, stop at about $370 to $380. It kind of like hit here, it hit here, it kind of can't go up. So what I foresee is the stock uh, stopping momentum at about $370. It will take a pause here and it will probably retrace a little bit. Where is the baseline for this stock? I see the baseline over here. Why do I see the baseline here? It's because after a, a flag pattern like that and it goes up, this is the support area. I don't see the price falling down. If the price falls down, it will bounce off this support area. So it's about probably, three, if I had to put a number, it's about $320. So this is the base and the high is at 380 and it's right now exactly in the middle. So my take behind this is you just dollar cost average. I did a video on dollar cost averaging and how powerful it is. I will link it uh, in the description below. So where do I see this stock in the next 10 years? The moment the stock goes past this line here, that means the stock ends up around this area here, okay, shoots above this line. I foresee this stock flying all the way up. That means it's like far up here. Uh, you, I do not know where the top is because you know stocks, once they, once they move, they can really, really move a lot. So you can see they usually form some kind of base, then it shoots up, then it goes sideways. And again, if it shoots up again, it will form sideways. So over the next 10 years, if this gets widely adopted, I foresee a 10x to 20x growth. This is really a game-changing technology. So that's all I'll cover in this video. I've given you a detailed video, yet easily digestible, I hope. It is really hard, and I hope you really appreciate what I do. I've yet to cover about the long and short DNA sequencing, but uh, that's a topic for another time. I didn't want to keep this video too long. Concluding this video, Illumina is an amazing company, amazing market share, constant innovation and investing in innovation and helping other companies succeed like Grail. The management is great. The vision is great. The growth is great. Market share is great. The numbers are great, which is obviously the least important, but there is nothing much else for me to complain about. So appreciate those who helped me. The thumbs up, you guys are awesome. Invest safe.